and you're pretty known for being an entertainer. Do you think that has to, that is how it should be? Do you think, I mean, do you like that it's set up that way? I mean, you just talked about politics, but that the entertainers get the, you know, the big fights, um, or do you think it should be, you know, like every other sport, the competitors that, that show up that are most deserving, get it. Yeah, see, the thing is, is that this isn't really a sport. This is a circus. This is a, uh, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just, it's not a sport. If it was sport, they'd go by rankings. They would do this and that. If you win the AFC championship, you're, go, you're going to the championship game. You know, it's not like that in, in UFC. You know, I won the interim championship, and they didn't let me fight for the defending championship. So they just do whatever they want as a business. And, and what separates it and doesn't make a sport is there's no union, and, and there's no act you know we don't have like an ollie act where there's a split the revenue right down the middle you got you know the fighter and the promoter equal pay you know it's not like that in the ufc they're, they're taking 90 percent of the money and they're leaving 10 percent for the fighters to fight for and, and really that 10 percent's for the guys up top that are making the money so you know the guys are fighting for that top paycheck and to be the top guy and let's be honest man you know you have if you want to put on fights exciting fights and entertain people outside the cage and, and make people want to interested in you and want to watch you because you have a personality then you know you just you're going to get more money people are are disinterested in some people and they don't want to watch those people fight and if you don't get people interested in you whether they love you or hate you because it's the same thing if they love you they're tuning in to watch you because they want to see you win if they hate you they're tuning in because they want to see you lose so either way you know just get them to love you or hate you make them have a reaction about you and you're going to get paid the top dollar yeah, I love I, I love your story because you you talked about it on Candace Owens and I think one more podcast, um, but you just talked about where your career was and how everything was going, and and I feel like a lot of fighters um, they complain about that situation. They'll say, "Well, UFC is not promoting me or or whatever," and um, I just feel like there's not a lot of action taken. Like if you if you want to be promoted, like promote yourself, like have take the initiative. And, and I feel like you, you know, obviously I don't, I don't necessarily agree with everything you've said or done, but you took a, you took a stand and you said, no, I'm not going to complain about people not promoting me. I'm going to do my thing and, and I'm going to be marketable and promotable. Yeah. And, and you know, the UFC, they tell you that, you know, you need to be a self promoter, you know, and, and if you, if you want that top care, you know, then you need to go out there and earn it yourself. You know, we're not going to give you anything and, and people know that but the thing is with most fighters they don't want to put it all on the line because they don't want to have to deal with the backlash you know they don't want to put all the marbles in the middle in case they don't get all the marbles then they're going to feel like an idiot so i'm not afraid to put it all on the line most of these fighters are and you know going back to you know yeah there is some things that i know a lot of people don't agree with that i do but you know that's that's you know we all have different opinions and we all believe different things you know it doesn't make one better than the other and doesn't make one right or the other but you know a lot of things that i do are within truth and and there's a lot of truth to it and you know i'm not out here making lies or doing things that are complete lies there's always a realm of truth to everything i do and you know i just try and be real and, and be honest you know i i'm doing this for business man this is this is marketing and promotion and if people don't understand the show business side of that you know that's their problem not mine 